Okay, so we're going to talk really quick about how to use Adobe Spark. Um, some of you may have used it before previously, but it's a really great, uh, easy video making website. So you're going to Google Adobe Spark or go to spark.adobe.com. In the top right hand corner, click sign in. We'll do login with a school account. You'll put in your school email address. So yours will be your ID number at students.kdisd.org. So that is students, plural, .kdisd.org. Click continue. And then it will show you some of the different things that you can make with Adobe Spark. So at the top, you will notice that it doesn't have any videos listed, but videos are something that you can do. So you just click the little plus sign right there, click video. I'm just going to put in a random title. You can choose what type of video you want. So let's choose, I'm going to go with show and tell because I'm showing my monster in this case. It'll give you a little bit of information as you go. So it's really nice that shows you exactly how it works. It's got a little bit over a minute long video that gives you directions on how to do it. All right, so it gives you some tabs down here. I can start with my layout. So I'm going to start with a split screen for me personally. Um, because it's my title screen, I maybe don't want to put my drawing of my monster yet. So I might try with find free photos. So these are going to be photos that you're allowed to use for free. Um, so let me search. You'll be more selective in what you choose, but I'm just going to choose something random. Um, you'll choose something that relates to obviously what you're doing. I'll put my title and my name so that my teacher knows uh, who this project belongs to. And then I'll go to my next slide if I'm ready. I like to make my whole project first and then go back to make my recording. So then I'll want to put my picture. So maybe you want to upload your photo of your monster next. I haven't drawn a monster because I am just making an example. So I just chose one off of Google from Monsters University. And then you can give more information about your monster. So you can put your explanation about it there. You can put some more, uh, you can put upload a video of it if you've made a drawing or if you've made a, um, an animation of what your monster looks like. You can add captions to it. You can do title and text. You can also change your theme. So if you have a different theme that you want, maybe you want this one, you can change the color of how it looks. Um, to fit the theme of your monster or your book talk, whatever you're doing, to make it make more sense for you. And then when you're ready to record your voiceover, all you have to do is click here, then hit allow. All right, so you hold this down and then it'll record what you're saying and it'll keep it on this video. But let's say I messed up and I don't like what I did. I just stop and it says nice work and you can play it to make sure you like it. It won't play because I have my uh, recording set up right now, but if I don't like it, all I have to do is hold it down again and then I can start recording what I want it to say. Once you're done, all you have to do is click share, publish, create a link and it will create your link and you can submit it to your teacher however they need to. You don't have to worry about whether it is uh, correct on Google Share settings. You don't have to worry about whether it's private or public. Anybody with the link can see it. 